Welcome back everybody, today we're looking at First Descendant. The game came out June 30 and it's free to play. We're going to look at the proposed minimum requirement, which consists of a Intel i5-3570 or AMD FX8350, that's old. 8GB of memory, a GTX 1050Ti or AMD RX 570, which from my opinion the 570 is way better than the 1050Ti. Anyway, DirectX 12 and 50GB of storage, no mentioning if it's a HDD SSD and no mentioning if it's 1080p, 30fps, 60fps, low settings, whatever. Welcome to Response PC, I'm Dunk, let's descend on. Let's start with uh, some uh, quick uh, disclaimer. First, it was a fresh install of Windows, with Steam, latest driver and the game. Nothing else, no bloatware, junkware or whatsoever. Second, my i5-3570 died on me, so I'm going to use the closest thing I have, i5-2500, just to make sure. We go lower to see if we can handle it. And since there's no specification on the targeted FPS resolution and settings, we're going to assume it's 1080p, low settings and 30 FPS. So the i5-2500 with the GTX 1050Ti and 8GB of memory settings at 1080p and low settings, we averaging a 37 FPS. We get high of 49 FPS and lows of 31 FPS. This is highly playable as long as you're not a multiplayer against other player. But the CPU here is our bottleneck. We're at 100% resolution all the time. The GPU is wavering in the low 90s to 100%. For the RAM, we're at 5.7 to 6 GB of resolution. This is highly playable, but since the CPU is pegged at 100%, every time you you change area zoning the CPU is uh, struggling and you encounter a lot of stutter when everything's load up the CPU still stay at 100% but at least it's playable without stutter now keeping all the same settings but jumping from the GTX 1050 Ti to the RX 570 4GB variant we get an average of 48 FPS this is quite a big jump compared to the GTX 1050 Ti as you can see from user benchmark for whatever it's worth it's about 30% uh, better performance than the GTX 1050 Ti but whatever, that's what they said, so that's what we're testing. That's why it's called proposed minimum requirement. So we have a 10, 11 FPS uh, better average than the GTX 1050 Ti with the RX 570. The GPU is pegged at 100%, the CPU is still pegged at 100% also, and the memory didn't change at all. 8GB is still the same utilization of almost 7GB, 6.7, 6.8GB of memory utilization. It's uh, more playable than the GTX 1050 Ti. We, for sure we over the 30 FPS, that uh, should be what is uh, target as a minimum requirement. At least with those uh, hardware, they were not targeting uh, 60 FPS. That would have been uh, impossible. Now just for a test purpose, I upgrade the i5-2500 to the i5-4690K because the 2500 was about 4% less performing than the i5-2570 which is the proposed CPU and the i5-4690K is about 7% more performing than the 3570 which is the proposed minimum. So all three CPU is 4 core 4 thread. The i5-2500 is at 3.3 GHz, the i5-2570 the proposed CPU is at 3.4 gigahertz and the i5 4990k 4690k is at 3.5 gigahertz i've paired it with the rx 570 the proposed minimum gpu and we have a little uplift of 51 average fps and we have higher high fps reaching 65 at time and again the cpu is not peg but 98 97 percent utilization i can say that it's still peg at uh, some point i'm going to do a further test in the future to see which cpu will not bottleneck the rx 570 for the this game because it seems to be the not the best uh, pairing of a gpu cpu in this uh, situation i'm going to do also uh, what is the real minimum requirement and also check up uh, which pair of gpu cpu should you use to get a 60 fps at 1080p if you want me to try your uh, setup hardware for this game just uh, tell me in the comments but since the game is free to play you can just literally test it if it works content to play if it doesn't just close the game or if you want to know if your pc should run it but you have a lower than average uh, fps that it should be for this game post it in the comments i will try to check up uh, with you how we can manage it and that's it for this video see you on the next one and subscribe